Hi, this is Craig from Spam By Me and welcome to another episode of Toys in the Bedroom. Now, today's toy, again, isn't a toy. It is four different combs to coincide with the movie release of the movie Grease. Now, I'm going to do something different today and I'm going to start with a rant. Now, I don't like musicals. I think, I think the shit I'm being perfectly honest, I think it's the worst genre of film. Apologies if you actually like musicals, but I don't like musicals. And weirdly enough, I hate the film Grease, which is weird because I've got paraphernalia and memorabilia from the film Grease. So for musicals for me, I just, I just don't fucking get them. I don't understand the purpose of them. I don't, you know, why say something when you can sing it? Uh, so... What happens in a musical is somebody goes, I need the toilet. So then what happens in, in real life, somebody just goes, oh, it's over there. But in a musical, for some fucking strange reason, they just go, it's where, it's where, the toilet's over there. Who cares, who cares, who cares to care? The toilet is over there. And there's no need for it. There's no need to bust out in a fucking song when somebody needs the toilet. What could be it? What could be it? I need a shit and that's my, that's my take on musicals. Anyway, back to it, because we're a minute and a half into this video. And if you aren't turned off because of my singing, thank you very much. We have today these combs that are probably going to fall over at some point and snap and break. And they are Grease combs. They're not combs for Grease. They are combs for the movie Grease, or to coincide. And there's Grease Lightning, the, uh, the car that he does up and then it fucking flies in the end. So what happens in the film Grease, spoiler alert, feel free to uh, press mute for a couple of seconds. What happens in Grease is there's a young guy called Danny, and I can't remember what Olivia Newton-John's character's called, Sandy. So they meet on the beach, they have a bit of a, a fling, and Danny's renowned for sort of nobbing a bird and then never getting back in touch with her. Um, the premise of the film is sort of right at the end, uh, Sandy decides that she's going to be a bit of a troller, puts a bit of makeup on and starts smoking and he gives a shit about her then. So the moral of the story is if you look like a troller, then you're uh, going to get the man, which is wrong on every inconceivable level. And yeah, madness and dancing and partying ensues. This is John Travolta, silhouette there, dancing with uh, Olivia Newton-John. To contradict myself, I do actually quite like the merchandise. The film itself can kick rocks. I quite like these. Grease is the word, if you haven't heard. It's got groove and it's got meaning or feeling or whatever the fuck it is. So this, these look like they're from the same dance. So Grease is the word. It's cool and yeah. And if you want to build a car that's really fast, that can fucking fly and then take off, then, then feel free to do it. This is the iconic image when uh, Sandy Baby slags up right at the end and John Travolta takes an interest in her because she looks like a troller. And now he thinks, you know what, you're for me. So again, moral of the story, dress like a troller, get a man. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the rant. If you like Grease, I apologise. Well, I don't really. I mean, I'm, allowed to, I'm entitled to an opinion like everybody else in the world is. But if you do like Grease, then yeah, that probably was, was quite hard hearing that. And if you don't like Grease, please, please feel free to stick in the comments. I hate Grease too. Bye. Supreme, uh, uh, the chicks will cream, uh, uh, all green's a lightning. lightning.